Hey guys, Niara Night Song here for another video. Um, I'm trying to do more of these just like silly kind of personal videos where we just chat about something random. Um, during this crazy time in our world, um, where you know we're all feeling isolated. My camera's a little out of focus. Whoa, 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 whoa! It's a little out of focus. I don't know what to do about it. Um. Also, my hair is really frizzy because I keep trying to re-dye it. I keep saying, today's going to be the day I'm going to re-dye my hair. And so I get it all shampooed and don't use conditioner so that the hair dye will take. But then I never actually get around to doing it. So here's hoping next time you see a video from me, I'll have freshly dyed, beautiful, uh, dark purple hair. Um... Because look, I got a lot of roots. Look at these roots. Look at this. This is quarantine right here. This is quarantine hair right here. Um, anyways, what I wanted to talk about today, and uh, <laughs> what, I, <laughs> what I'd like to talk about today is um, something weird. In fact, the weirdest thing that I think in my head that I don't tell anyone. Um, I don't know a shorter way to call that. It's not like, oh, biggest secret or something. It's like just some abstract thing that I, thing that I think about in my head, but that I wouldn't go around telling people because it's like crazy. So that kind of defeats um, the whole keeping it to myself thing by making this video, but I figured it would be funny, it would be entertaining, or it would be weird. Uh, and you know, like, uh, you know a new thing about me, just, you know, something personal. And uh, I'm framing it as, you know, just something I think in my head. That's why I don't go around preaching it or anything, because it's just probably definitely not real. <laughs> uh, but my brain likes to think it is. So here we go. Uh, I, uh, I've had dreams all my life that I was put here somehow by some means along with others, um, placed among humanity, among humanity, um, the goal being to create an awakening of sorts among humans um just you know show them the way uh to expand what it means to be human to uh change life on earth and the way that we function as a society uh to bring us towards a future where everyone's taken care of no one is hungry uh we're not killing each other we we're working together to advance ourselves as a civilization into the future um, and join whatever is out there, whether it's a, a, a stellar community of other uh, alien races or whether it is just a vast emptiness with maybe some far off some far off populations but it's like it's not like um how sci-fi would depict uh life in space where they're always bumping into people all the time maybe it maybe it's really difficult um but either way i think i think there's definitely other inhabited planets out there i don't think that's a crazy leap but anyways um so yeah in these dreams i'm always put here as part of this group of other people that are all here to complete this objective but there's just one problem we for some reason don't have our memories from before we were put here we cannot remember what our mission was or what our objectives were or how we were supposed to accomplish it or why we were put here other than a, a vague understanding like what I told you a moment ago about, you know, advancing humanity and fixing those problems. Um, so, like, in this scenario, we don't know who put us here or what we're a part of or how it was 
came to be or anything like that. And like you don't even know why you don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I've always had that weird belief that, you know, was reinforced by my dreams that would always depict, you know, the same thing. Um, so I've always found it really hard to relate to humanity or to being human. I, it's always been kind of just a exasperated, cog. come on, you guys, like, really, seriously, like, come on, like, I can see it so clearly, um, and it, it's not hard for anyone to see it when you lay it out for them, that we really can solve all these problems, um, it's not, not, <laughs> it's not rocket science to use an old cliche um we can solve we can solve our problems um so i guess i've always kind of thought of myself as an outsider and like as being someone who was never i've never been like an insider you know i've never been really connected to the community or to society um other than like caring i care a great deal about people but I've always been an outsider like in school I was always like the goth kid you know so I didn't have a lot of friends um I wasn't in the, like all the social cliques um and like in politics I'm like you know far left and so I'm always considered like oh an extremist or uh you're nuts or whatever um and then of course being trans is very outsider it's a, a lot of people aren't comfortable with that like you know every single different oh religion i'm an atheist so uh another one that's like uh people don't don't like atheists a lot of the time and a lot of religions don't take too kindly to us um so always the outsider in every different category in life um so i've never related that much but like I said, I do intensely care about the good of humanity and our future and, you know, caring for people and taking care of people and raising people's spirits and giving people hope and stuff like that. Like, that's that's my jam right there. That's my jam. Um, so that all kind of makes me reinforces this feeling of like, oh, uh, maybe you're not one of them kind of thing. Uh, the other thing is that uh, due to different factors, I've always had um, a lot of different advantages or like, you know, special little skills that gave me a heads up over other people that made me think like, oh, you're different from them. You're not the same uh, and kind of reinforce that. Like, for example, I never get sick. Um, I haven't been sick in like, I think at least like five years. I don't get like the cold, I don't get the flu, I don't uh, get any kind of sickness. Um, and uh, it's weird, like the, the, you know, obviously it has happened in the past, like I said, like maybe like four or five years ago or something like that. Um, I was sick at some point, I have been sick in my life, but it's very difficult to happen. Um, and uh, I don't know why that is, and, but maybe kind of on the same note, I also heal really quickly. Like after I had my uh, surgery, my vaginoplasty surgery, very crazy intense surgery, I was, I was walking the, de the next day. Meanwhile, everyone else in the hospital was like stuck in bed and just like barely hobbling around over the next couple weeks just being able to hobble around the hospital and I was like going around the city and exploring Montreal and going on trips and taking taxis and going walking all around exploring everywhere like they had to come and they had to come and get me because they I kept escaping from them they had to keep a watch on me because I kept going places I wouldn't stay in the hospital um and like even like when I get like a cut or something it's like I heal crazy fast like it's it's nothing can damaged me it seems like um so that's always been really cool um that and like 
also having the the uh fuck i can't what's it called uh yeah uh i've i've had the the blood type that's that's weird uh O negative, the one that's the universal donor, but the, like the weird thing about it is that it's um, RH negative, and there's like a whole bunch of like weird, crazy bullshit stuff about that, like and what it means uh, to be RH negative, um, and it's just like that also makes me reinforces my feelings even more. It's like oh, you have a weird blood type that doesn't quite make sense with the rest of humanity, and it's specifically made so that everyone else can in humanity can receive it it's like also i have like a weird ability to be able to detect people's emotions like i'm like super finely attuned to it like it's like nuts like i can get in people's heads like you wouldn't believe and it's benefited me all through my life i've been able to always get what i want uh <laughs> which is crazy but also it helps me when i want to help people like to get to know them or figure out what's bothering them or like figuring out the inner workings of their head like i love that shit like figuring people out down to the neuron like that that again is my jam um but uh a lot of these like abilities and stuff that i have can be explained through like you know oh well, you have borderline personality disorder, and because you're exposed to trauma, your brain is processing things at a much faster rate. So there's more processing power available, and the brain craves more stimulation because it's used to being in a traumatic environment where there's a lot of stimuli. So it seeks out that kind of stimuli because um, it wants to be always running at that speed. That's what it's accustomed to. Like, yo, there's a, there's a very reasonable explanation for why I have some of those those abilities, but um i mean it 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 still reinforces my crazy idea in my head that like i'm put here for some other reason um but like i haven't found it that harmful to keep that in my head because like it seems to be like a thing that is like a moral compass kind of thing that points me in a good direction because it's like whether whether it's true or whether it's just all fairy tale bullshit in my head it helps me do things that are in the in the mindset of benefiting humanity of being good for people of helping people of m making people better um, um you know cheering people up like all that kind of stuff i talked about um it it guides my behavior in a positive way not in like a selfish or negative way so you know, I figure, like, as long as I keep it to myself and I don't go, like, you know, telling that to everyone I meet and stuff, like, it doesn't matter if that's in my brain. And, like, I'm only telling you now for a YouTube video, um, because I figured it would make a funny story, but it's contained within this video because I'm saying it here doesn't mean I have to say it anywhere else. And, like, we can just take it for what it's worth as a weird story I'm telling you. Um... Or maybe you'll think I'm, maybe you can't accept that I have that thought in my head and maybe you think because I have that thought in my head that I'm not the kind of person that you want to uh, listen to or be around. I mean, and that's totally fair, I guess, um, if you if you feel that way. Um, hopefully you don't. <laughs> it's like, I feel like, let's let's use the example of religion. Because I think this applies well. Like, if I believe in a god, for example, I think what no one can say that's not okay. Like, someone might say, oh, I don't agree with you, or I think that that belief isn't correct. But there shouldn't be a problem with me holding that, me having that belief internally. The problem starts when I take that belief, I believe in this god, now I'm going to tell you why you need to believe in this God. And you're wrong if you don't. Um, that's when a problem starts. Like when someone starts pushing the things that they think or the things that they believe. And they try to 
and inflict that on other people, that's when it becomes a problem. But, um, I don't know. As long as you're not hurting anybody, I think it's cool. Um, sorry, I'm watching my tarantula. She's, uh, being weird. And distracting. Oh man, she's getting so big. Um, I should show her off sometime. Not right now though, I don't want to disturb her when she's out and about. Uh, anyway. This has been my weird little story of the strange things I think in my head. Um, I invite you, if you're feeling brave, to tell me some weird thing that, or like a fantasy that you have, or some weird thing that you think, or do you have like a recurring dream? I'd love to hear about it because it helps me to get to know you guys and get a little slice of what's going on in your mind. So I invite you to uh, comment or message me if you want it to be private. Uh, thank you guys. Um, before I go, uh, why not check out my OnlyFans page at onlyfans.com slash Niara. Uh, if you want some really cool NSFW content, onlyfans.com slash Niara. And uh, until next time, guys, I hope you're doing good and staying safe.